Hey guys, Nick here with Starfall Sabers. I wanted to show off a recently completed uh, one-off that I made. Um, most times I, I sell these just empty as I make them, but uh, I had a client who was interested. He asked me if I had anything I was working on. I showed him pics of this and he wanted to get it installed. So um, got this uh, fully installed with a uh, Profi board, uh, the latest version with a, a single button hack. Uh, by Nathan Barnes from Wild Space Outpost. He did a great job with this. Um, so this is a, a pretty unique, cool looking saber. I, I like the, um, just kind of the simplicity of it with the brass and the uh, brushed aluminum and steel accents. Uh, my client had asked me to, uh, if I had maybe like something to wrap the uh, top choke with. So th um, this is just a, a piece of weathered canvas that kind of gives it a, a cool little coat of, vibe uh, you know whatever story you want to put with it uh, this is easily removed if you want to do that in fact I think I'm gonna take it off just for the video so um, Nathan Barnes did a extensive uh, instructional video on the uh, functions of this uh, single button hack profi um, but this is just like a real general basic I wanted to show the saber off um, I did finish off a blade plug um, that uh, Nathan had made a, uh, a NeoPixel uh, blank uh, blade plug and so I just kind of finished it out to give it a, a cool look. It protrudes a little bit from the saber. It gives it this nice stepped look, which is kind of nice. So this is going to ship today. Um, I wanted to just out of the box for my client, show him what he needs to do here. So this is just a chassis retention screw here. Uh, do not over tighten this. Just when it gets a little snug, leave it alone. Uh, to uh, get the kill key out of the, the Sabre and to charge it, basically when you're going to store it, you want to store it with the kill key in the chassis. So you're going to want to back this uh, set screw out a little bit. And you don't want to lose it, so just kind of back it out here, like so. And then you want to wiggle off the, uh, the pommel. And then just loosen this chassis retention screw, just a little bit like so. And then the chassis will pop out. So you got your speaker here, and then you have your uh, kill key or kill plug. And just get your fingernail there to pull it out, like so. You'll hear the boot sound, don't lose this. If you need another one, we can send you it, but just be careful not to lose that. So then, just use the pommel to carefully just set this back, push this back in, kind of wiggle it a little bit, and go ahead and tighten down the retention screw there. You can get that pretty snug. You don't want to strip it, but you can snug it up. And this one, just when it, you feel a little bit of resistance, right there, you're good to go. That'll keep everything uh, secured inside the saber. So now to power it on, a uh, single button, just tap. And push and hold to power down. This is just the basic functions. Push and hold until until the power, uh, the saber powers down. All right, so let's get a blade in here and we'll cycle through a couple fonts. Here's that blade plug. Uh, tight fit on the blade. Just um, as you put it in, just kind of screw it in clockwise until it seats like so. Tighten this down. Oh. So you want to make sure it's seated. There we go. Nice bright NeoPixel blade. It's really cool yellow color, goes really nice with the Sabre. Again, push and hold until it powers down. Now in the off position to cycle through the fonts, push and hold the power button for a couple seconds and then release. 
So now we're in the Starfall collection. Uh, Saber Baron did uh, three sound fonts for me, so this one is Starfall. Push and hold. Okay, in the off position, again, push and hold for a couple seconds and release. Celestial. Celestial. Push and hold to power off. And then again, push and hold a couple seconds and release. And infinium. Very nice purple blade. And then there's a ton of fonts on here, so you can cycle through. Um, and for my client, just refer back to the instructional video that Nathan Barnes did for all the little bells and whistles that this, uh, this board can do. And this is shipping out to you today, my friend. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>